All right, folks, it's time to have some fun with dynamic background removal. So I've got a piece of footage over here in the media bin, and I'm just going to drag it down onto the timeline. And we'll zoom in on the timeline a little bit, and I'm just going to quickly trim this up a little bit. Do a ripple delete, and there we have it. There's your footage. So this canvas is set up at uh, 1920 by 1080 and it's got a piece of 4k footage shot with an iphone on it so we're going to look at the background removal effects so i'm going to come to the visual effects tab over here and we're going to look for background removal all right there's the background removal effect i'll just go ahead and drag it on and you can see it's a gpu accelerated effect and it immediately takes effect so really easy to apply super simple now Let's start to have some fun with this. Let's start to dress it up. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got a track right here that I'm just going to drag below. And so now I've got some space here and I'm going to come up to the library tab and I am in the dynamic fills folder of the Camtasia 2023 library. So we'll scroll down and we'll find a fill here just to drop behind this nice little gradient action. Yeah, that looks nice. Let's make it sure it's the same length. And so already we have sort of a nice treatment here, but we can make this a lot more fun with just a couple simple tricks here. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select that piece of media that's had the background removal applied to it. And I'm gonna come back over to the visual effects tab and I'm just gonna drag the drop shadow effect onto this guy right here. So we've dragged the drop shadow on and you can already see this, some of the shadows starting to pop off here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the offset up a little bit, maybe to, oh, I don't know, right about there. And we'll just go ahead and make the angle up like that. And okay, I've got kind of starting to get a little bit interesting there. Maybe we'll make the, the blur here 50%. So just... Now, close enough. 49 is close enough for us. All right, so I've got this drop shadow effect, and that's that's kind of cool, but you know what? We're going we're gonna to keep on decorating here. So the next thing we're going to do here is, again, I'm just going to drag a track below. I could have uh, context clicked and chose to insert a track if you don't have any extra tracks available. And we're going to go back to the library right here, and we're just going to go and find, how about... How about this dynamic fill number two right here? So we're going to drag this guy down onto the timeline and again, make it match the length of all the other footage. And you can see right now it uh, is blocking out that original dynamic fill that we had down here. So you can't see it at all. And what we want to do is come up over to the visual effects tab again. And this time we're going to come over and we're going to find the media mat. So we got to scroll down here and we've got the media mat effect. And we're just going to apply it to this piece of footage here. The one that we've got the background removal applied to. So we'll drag the media mat over onto it. Boom. And just like that, I've got this really neat sort of punch out, cut out silhouette with all the fun of that dynamic fill that it's sitting on top of. So it's sitting on top of this one. The media mat is saying, hey, only show me this portion of the dynamic fill, right? And just to look at the media mat real quick, we'll come over here and we'll scroll up and the media mat is just set to alpha, right? So fun silhouette right there. Okay, but we're not done. So the next thing we're gonna do here this is a cool look in its own right, useful in a bunch of different cases, sort of harkens back to that. Man, if I don't know if you guys remember those early odd Apple uh, iPod ads that sort of had the fun silhouettes. So this is already starting to feel like that. So you can do things like that, add titling, really have some fun with that. But we're going to do this effect right here. I'm just going to, I've got the, the background removal uh, talking head piece here. Uh, selected and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. So just command D. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that topmost that just created a copy, put it in exactly the same position as the one that was copied that was duplicated. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the properties panel and I'm just going to start turning things off like drop shadow and I'm going to turn off the media mat. And so now that that makes it so this piece of footage, which no longer has a shadow, is sitting on top of that duplicated piece of footage, which is media matted and sitting on top of that dynamic fill. And what you get is sort of just this fun, super fun, moving gradient shadow, if you will, glow, almost a glow effect that's happening right there. So you can see just with a couple of compositing tricks, you know what, media mat, drop shadow, and background removal makes this, this technique super simple. You can get some really, really fun effects. Hope you enjoy Camtasia 2023.